There he, there he is. is. There he is. Oh, he's going to smash it. There he is. Yes! Yes! One, Stop, don't touch two, the three. Nature is unforgiving. And uh, today we're hoping to be the predators on the prey. Oh Are you God. kidding me? The day we've had! Did you see that? Yes, he was so heavy. Oh, hooked up. Unbelievable, John. <laughs> nice little spot to get away and cool. have some fish with your buddies. You know you're going after the bigs when you got to drill not one, not two, but three eight inch holes on the spot. We're back in the scene. It's a little bit nipply today. I think we've got some wind coming in, so it's gonna be challenging to uh, to move around and figure out how to find some of the biggest and best fish. Today we are solely going after the trout. Today's gonna to be a redemption mission. I just whiffed, 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 big time. Probably the biggest whiff ever in the history of this channel. I missed seven fish in a row. An absolute record breaker and not a good kind. So along with that too, we're also going to show you guys what it's like in the bush. Gonna maybe catch one or two trout, right Spence, and bring it up into the pine trees and do a nice little traditional shore lunch on Tierra Catch and Cook. But for now, we gotta worry about catching these fish. And seeing as I didn't do such a good job last time, Spencer has drilled me this massive gaping ditch in which I'm going to hopefully pull a nice trout through. All right, let's get after it. So it's used to power the transducer and the actual unit itself. Yeah. So that's why this is good. I can bypass the fuse by taking that power cord. I can cut this yeah, in front of the fuse and I can bypass this and just run this straight to the battery, that would work. There you go, that. So you know it's on, but I doubt your transmission can work. What about, didn't you say you have the normal deucer? That might not need power. Yeah, I do actually. That'll work, that doesn't need power. That'll need run power, right? Unit. You're right. Good thinking. I'm gonna go to uh, just flasher mode. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if she works. Yeah. So we were got we got a little feisty there. Stopped the intro. I was about to drop down the hole. Expected to see a whole school of trout. But sure enough, we blew a fuse on the Garmin. Our lock, right? Breaking equipment has definitely been the theme of this entire trip. Point in case, right there. The good thing, is, the weird thing is, is there's a fuse for. Powering the actual um, unit, like the graph, and there's also a fuse for powering the, uh, well, the garden hoe. So we just decided to scrap the actual pan optics feature and just use the flasher, which works perfectly fine. But I mean, this could have been really bad. Like imagine fishing out of a hole in 50 feet of water, not knowing <laughs> if there's a fish on your bait. How does it look? Not bad, actually. Not bad, yeah. All right, cool. I think we're golden. Thanks for doing that. He's gonna come back. Here he comes, 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 here he comes. Got him! Woo! Got him, got him, got him, Yeah, he's already up the hole. He's already up the hole. He's already up the hole. Oh, perfect eater. Perfect eating trout. Pretty cool. Our first eating fish of the day. That would've been quick. John and I are gonna do a little shore lunch. Just a little guy. Perfect eating size trout. Definitely don't want to keep many bigger than that. Hook should pop right out, it's barbless. Awesome. Sheet. Sweet. This one, man. That's a pretty one to start, eh? No time at all. Nice job. Awesome. Late trout in the snow. The snow just picked up after we did the intro. We've got like a micro blizzard coming through. Perfect nice. little eater. Oop, don't go down the hole. There we go. Yup. I feel. I don't grab that vex. I think it's big. Idea how. Now's your chance to give me some. No, I'm bigger than that. I didn't. Uh, I didn't even mark it. Just wait. Like, just wait. Here we go. 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 
Oh my god, he hit me right below the ice. Like literally right below the ice. Pretty sure he's on there. Yep. Got him. Careful, careful. We have a little bit. Oh! Oh, he's still there. No, shoot! Yeah. That one felt good. Wow, that's that was a crazy aggressive fish. He felt heavy, dude. Shoot. Okay, well I've lost two today. Let's see if you can beat my record. Which is six. Six or seven. I'll lose I'll lose four more. <laughs> just for John. Are you just doing this to make me feel better? <laughs> there's one, there's one. There he is. Big fish, John. This one feels better. Me to grab him, you got him. Me to grab him. He's gonna go nuts. He's gonna make a run here. That's a good one. That yeah. might not be an easy. Oh my goodness! I I spoke way too soon the other day. It's okay. I'm just gonna put this back in there and slowly walk away before this time bomb goes off. I'm just gonna back up. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh. I'm just gonna swallow my tail right now because uh, the other day I picked up my buddy John for missing six trout and uh, I've now missed three today so give me a couple more minutes and I'll miss a few more and yeah sorry for picking on you the other day John but uh, I, I take what I said back John sorry. Jason hard? No. He was and then he like stopped right before it. There, there he is. There he is. Oh he's gonna smash it. There he is. Yes! 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 Okay. Okay. One time came up. No. We drill a bigger hole for him now. <laughs> I was just going to do works. this with mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. 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 Finally, uh -oh. dude. Yes, it feels good to get hooked up. We've seen that before. Tighten up just a little bit. Wow, putting the mags rod to test today, baby. I want to catch eaters today, but I also am out here to get like redemption and get a freaking stud, like another big one. This does not feel enormous, but it's got weight. Yeah, things are good. Oh, that does feel fairly heavy though. You're good, you're good. Uh, it's had a pretty wild morning. Uh, I think this is fish number seven that we've had on. We've actually landed one, so. We need to see this one. To make sure we're actually still late. Oh, there you're slow, 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 slow. Oh yeah, nice one. Slow. Stuck in the hole. Yeah. Perfect. Nice job. It's a pretty good one. Yeah. There goes the bubbles. There goes the bubbles. Let's see if we can get her up on this pole. Maybe. It's coming up. It's coming yep. up. Yep. Got it. Yep. Not a bad one. Yeah. Nice. Woo. Oh, hook just hook popped, popped up. right out. That is why you have to keep tension on these fish, and why Spence is advocating so much towards uh, making sure that the line doesn't get cut on the ice. First Laker of the day. Hopefully, many more. I'm confident in saying that uh, today's bite is just wildly, wildly more progressive than uh, two days ago. I'm pumped about it. This is an eater, or no? Um. Yeah. That Probably our second one, then yep. we'll stop, yep. right? Yep. Big Perfect. fight for a little fish. Yep. Nice job. Hell yeah! Wicked. You need to grab her? Uh, it's coming up. It's not pretty big. Oh, wow. It's a pretty, pretty one. Hang on. Wow. Pull back down hard. Nice. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty one. That's not too bad. Cool. This is our second spot of the day. We're not doing too much moving because it is That's a cool. lot colder, a lot windier. It's probably the bitterest day of the entire trip. But uh, hey, why not? Nice fish, dude. That's sweet. 
Right where we're gonna eat shore lunch too here. Yeah, this is the spot where we actually are gonna chow down on this on these fish. Although this guy's going back. Yeah. Okay. Swim free, little buddy. See you later, bud. Wow. Go on. I think it was, it was the most fired up we caught. That thing was wild. Yeah. Like he was. You guys, fired I don't up. know if you got it if if Marcel was recording, but he actually kicked the camera. Like there's slime all over the lens right now. That's why these guys are fun. It's because they're just full of vinegar, man. They're geared up and ready to just smack some swim baits. Well, if that's our last fish of the day, I can't be yeah, upset. The weather's kind of This is brutal. Turn. Like, you guys should see, it looks like we're on Mars right now, or the moon. There's just dust everywhere. It's gnarly out here. But it's a good way to end our last trout scent of the trip. This is it, man. This is it. Wow. It was fun. Trout are fun, man. I love trout these lakers. Trout are blast, you guys. Probably my favorite fish to catch through the ice, and I, I don't think not many people get the opportunity to do trout through the ice. Not too many places you can do it, too. Yeah, well, that's the thing. The areas don't really pronounce themselves. Um, but Northwest uh, Northwest Ontario is a really cool place to visit if you've never been here. And uh, let's go some lunch. I'm hungry. I'm starving, dude. Yeah. So, catch and cooks have been done plenty of times on YouTube, so we want to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. We've climbed up the ridge in which we were fishing below just a few moments ago, and this is going to be our spot. This nice little cave tucked away from the elements. It is probably the nastiest and the coldest day that we've had thus far up in Ontario. So we figured this would be a good spot to hunker down, chill, and eat today's catch. Oh, I'm tired. Look at all that wood we got. It's looking fresh. Let's get to cooking. John's gonna cut the potatoes up. I'm gonna cut the fish up, and uh, potatoes up to start before the fish. So John's on that uh, ahead of me a little bit here. I'm on potato duty. This reminds me of summer. Look at how nice this meat is. That looks good. See what he's got in his belly. Couple smelt. Really? Yeah. That's why we throw the Probably big baits. Probably like herring or cisco, but yeah. Oh. Interesting. Not much though. Look at that, dude. Well, that's pretty good looking meat, damn. Not much you can ask for to end quite possibly one of the most epic ice fishing trips of the season so far. Up on top of this ridge, watching this beautiful snowfall right past us as we stay warm in this little mini cave. Um, I, don't, I honestly have not had lake trout too many times, but you can just tell by looking at this meat that it's going to be pretty primo. Uh, it looks just like a salmon fillet, super red, almost ruby the point where you know you know it's going to be good it means that fish has a ton of cold oxygenated water flowing through its gills whereas like if you know you catch like a, a crappie or something like that the fish that doesn't swim as much doesn't move as much you're gonna have a more white fillet so just something to keep in mind um yeah i'm i'm doing the meal prep spence is doing all the all the dirty work the heavy lifting over there so i'm just cutting up some peppers right now i don't really know what spence's recipe is but i'm excited to try it yeet a little secret i used to do when i did shore lunches this like Cajun seasoning, Ooh, it's unbelievable. Good. It's called Signature Fish. Don't know where I got it, so sorry, can't help you out there. But it's good, good stuff. Tasty. The batter's gonna stick to the fillets better if they're a little wet. Obviously, we have no water in the lake, but get some bottles of water, wash them up, John. I'm on it. Gonna wash the fillets. I prefer Aquafina when I'm washing my fillets. Just a quick tip for you guys. Not too much, don't want to drown them. Just a little sauce. Our batter today is going to be uh, Killer Crumbies from Gill's Trading Post and Soon Arrows. It's a deadly recipe. So many puns there, I don't know what to do with it. To die for. Like, no MSG. This guy's got it going on. It's All real, I'm going to do... Real killer mixture. I'm just going to put this in a bag. Yep. I'm just going to take my fillets and just mix them around in the bag. Pretty simple. 
Oh, I cut the bag. No way. <laughs> Hold that. <laughs> Just kind of cubing these up so that they cook a little e cook a little easier. Okay. Really good instructions. Wow, it's a nice trick. Yeah, my, it's my third challenge. Ever? Third, yeah. That you've ever done your entire life? Yeah. Wow. Just like that, we've got killer crumbies encrusted around our trout. Wow, that looks really good. Okay, fish has been out of the pan. We've got two little stations going here. One is potatoes, the other one is our Laker trout. The reason why Spence is doing this is, um, well, he's a weathered pro. He, uh, he's been guiding for how many years now? Oh, I think six or seven. Too long is the answer. And uh, with the guiding operation comes a little bit of short lunch action. So yeah, if you guys want to book a trip with Spence, whether it be, you know, smallmouth, uh, walleye, you know, whatever, he cooks a really mean shore lunch, especially during the smallest season too. The smallmouth nuggets are honestly delicious. I can't say I've had a better fish. Other than, I also heard you have an amazing musky recipe too. Yeah, my musky recipe is pretty, pretty tough. I've heard the big blondies are really the ones that have yeah, the most. Those ones, those yeah, those ones are sweeter anyways, yeah. yeah. So, while lake trout are great, you know, you guys should definitely uh, hit up uh, Spence. Give him, a, give him a buzz, give him a ring, and put you on some smallies and some smallie nuggets. First fish are coming off. Here we go. John, you're gonna have some lake trout and potatoes, buddy. Hell yeah. Put her there. Taters and Lakers. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's supple. There you go, bud. Thanks. Wow. Spencer yet again outdoing himself. That is so good. You have no idea how good, like, warm food tastes on a day like today where it's just mega cold. We've got snow coming into the cave right now. Thank you, bud. Much appreciated. Oh, wow. This is gonna taste so amazing. First time ever trying battered lake trout. Here we go. Mm. Oh yeah. Not bad. Yeah. You just get nice. No, it's good. Wow. Yeah. Not fishy at all. Huh. Like super straightforward. That's very good. Oh, hell yeah. Lake I'm trout. Lake trout. Give it a go. Try it out. Pretty good shore lunch. Pretty good stuff here. Hey man, dude. That's pretty good thinking cooked. we caught these out here no. in the bush. Hours ago. Yep. A couple hours ago. You know, what we think is obviously you can call it what you want, but a cave or some kind of rock. Shelter. Cut. Yeah. It's shelter, a shelter is honestly what it is. Which is pretty cool because if you look out here, we have a wicked north wind today, probably like oh. 25, 30 out of the north. She's a beaut. And we are completely protected now. Once you go down there, the elements completely change. So, nice little spot to get away and well, have some fish with your buddies. You guys go back to the cabin. I'm going to chill here for a bit. Get some freaking more food in my system. This is delicious, man. I, I can hang up here all day. Oh. And that, my friends, is how you do the proper, most authentic Canadian shore lunch catch and cook. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. In all seriousness, be sure to check out Spencer's guiding service. This is something that uh, you, you're not, you don't guide this anymore, do you? No. You can what, give me a list. What do you, what do you guide? What do you guide now? Bluegill, crappie, perch. Uh, yep, bluegill, crappie, perch, <laughs> smallmouth, walleye, snakehead, coming in. Salmon. Yeah. No, primarily the three main species I do are um, smallmouth, walleyes, and salmon. Um, I do a little bit of lake trout stuff too, but mainly smallmouth nice. walleyes. Nice. Salmon. Yeah, well, so you get a chance to fish with this guy right here and try some of his delicious cooking. Be sure to check out his website, contact info, all linked in the beautiful description below. Also, huge shout out to Marcel for filming this amazing expedition. I know it may, I know it may seem like I'm wrapping up the whole trip, but this is our second to last day. And uh, well, I don't think it's gonna get any better than this. This is just the pinnacle. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm peacing out, signing out. As always, folks, keep fishing.